it's been a couple of months since I've actually made a console graphics guide. So in today's video, we'll be touching up exactly how you guys can make your game look much, much better on console. I've made this video before in the past, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this. But for those of you that are new to the channel and don't actually know this information, I want to just briefly touch up on everything you guys need to know about making your console experience much, much better. So with it being said, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and post notifications. And with it being said, let's go straight into the console graphic tips. All right, guys, now if you go to your options menu and navigate over to interface, you guys can play around with something called colorblind settings. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably already heard of this. Uh, it's not actually anything relatively new, but a uh, colorblind type can actually change the way the game looks, uh, you know, regardless of whether you're on console, PC, doesn't matter. As for the video right now, I am on PC, but you guys have all these options as well. But by scrolling down to colorblind type, you guys can actually change the way the game looks. So if I actually change this to this, you guys can see it kind of has more of a yellowish tint. Uh, this one has more of a, you know, like a lighter orange tint. And this one has more of a red tint. So these can actually change the way the game looks. And it can actually make things look more saturated, which basically means more colorful. And then obviously, if you guys are colorblind or have any colorblind issues with your eyes, then this will also help because your colors are just going to be much, much better. And then by going down to colorblind target, you can switch the target of what you actually want to be affected. Affected. So if you want only the world to be affected, then you can put on world. If you want it to be uh, your interface, which means, you know, the uh, player names, um, you know, your dead silence, things like that, your HUD. Uh, will also do on that and if you do both it will do both at the same time so those right there are the colorblind settings if you guys haven't already i recommend you guys try those out because these, these are actually like some of the settings i've used in the beginning when i was first trying to get my color better for my console and they actually worked pretty well but now i have some other tips that are really really good so make sure you guys stick around for those all right guys now moving on to the next tip i have for you guys this one's actually pretty simple and a lot of people actually don't have this enabled uh i'm not sure how this works on xbox one but if you guys do play on a ps4 or ps5 you guys can actually enable HDR in your settings which makes the color of your game much much more deeper it adds more I guess color ranges which is really really good if you guys are trying to get a better color experience for Warzone you can actually find HDR settings by navigating to settings in your PS4 and going down to your video output settings and there you can actually find and toggle your HDR I see a night and day difference when I turn it on and I highly recommend you guys do it as well because I don't know it just makes things much much better all right guys now with HDR out of the way the next thing I actually have to talk about are two things that are kind of controversial it depends on what kind of uh you know hardware you have um, outside of your ps4 the first thing we're gonna talk about is a monitor and the second thing we're gonna talk about is a capture card all right now first thing monitor uh, when it comes to your monitor you can actually change the way the monitor looks you can tweak around a lot trust me so your monitor alone can actually make the game look much much better and here's how you can do it so if you guys do have a remote or some sort of you know toggle on your uh you know tv or monitor you guys can actually navigate to your picture settings you guys can change perhaps saturation uh sometimes it's called different things like color vibrance or you know just color boldness i know a lot of different monitors or tvs have different names for them turning this up will turn the color up like crazy i actually have a benq monitor and an lg monitor and both of these actually have a color vibrant setting so that's one of the biggest things i've actually done to make my game look much much better do keep in mind that if you guys are recording videos Obviously, it's not going to affect the recorded videos. It's only going to affect the way you see it from your monitor. So if you actually try to post it on YouTube, your YouTube video is not going to have more color. I'm sure you guys already noticed. It's pretty simple, but I just want to throw that out there. All right, guys. Now, the last thing I want to touch up on for your color settings and making the game look much better uh, is actually a capture card. I know I actually mentioned this before, and I've actually mentioned this a ton of times in the past. But a capture card is very important when it comes to making the game look really good for not only you, but for your viewers as well, whether you're streaming or recording. If you own an Elgato, auto HD you know capture card like I do you can actually go into your computer and you can actually turn up the saturation of ton of times I actually have uh, other videos that go into deeper detail on this so I will leave a link in the description for you guys that are wondering how to set this up if you guys actually do have one of those uh, I know that most of you guys probably don't so this part's probably just useless for you guys but for those of you that are uh, you know in possession of an Elgato then I highly recommend you guys actually turn up the saturation from your computer you can tweak around your saturation brightness gamma sharpness a lot of really really cool features that you cannot mess with sometimes on your monitor or even in game so I highly recommend you guys try that out if you guys can uh, if you guys can't then I do apologize that is probably one of the best ways to actually make a game look better besides the monitor technique but other than that guys that's basically all I have for you guys when it comes to graphics for Warzone if this video helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like if you guys haven't already. Subscribe to the channel as well and post notifications. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and understanding always.